Okay guys, I am here with the unboxing of the unique Typhoon H. Quick story before we get to the unboxing. Um, I originally had ordered the, the Typhoon H from Amazon um, in the middle of May, uh, which was a, considered a pre-order. And uh, Amazon, a couple of weeks later, Amazon missed the ship date and I chatted with them online and they had no idea when they would be getting any units in. So I went over to uniquepilots.com, which is a, a forum where anybody who's a unique fan or unique owner can go and, and post uh, questions and whatnot about um, the different unique products. So I went to the, the Typhoon H part of the forums and the real helpful uh, group of folks there. And uh, I kind of mentioned that I was Kind of frustrated with Amazon, and I uh, gotta give a big shout out to Laura over at coptersource.com um, out of Texas. She hooked me up with my Typhoon H, and here's Oliver because he knows he's not gonna get in the camera. Um, she hooked me up with the Typhoon H and got it right out to me before Amazon even got any in stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Typhoon H, I'm not sure why you're watching the video, but uh, in case you aren't, it is a hexcopter. So it's a drone that has six um, propellers. So here we go. So cool, right off the bat, I've got uh, a copper source sticker and a lens cloth. As well as a, oh, this looks like to be a lanyard of some sort. This is unique on it. So we'll see. Side box for the Typhoon H. Okay, let's see. I want to do this. Let's knock some stuff over. It's weird, there's stuff on the bottom, you can feel the other stuff that's in there. So it comes in this nice foam case that you can carry it in until you get some sort of alternative, alternative uh, backpack or case of some sort. I, for now, I'm just going to leave it in here. I only have, right now, the one battery. Uh, I have a couple on order from b and uh, uh, photo and along with a couple of uh, more propellers. Um, so I won't get a whole lot of flight time in my first flight. Unique says about 25 minutes. Uh, I think people are finding more like a real world of 20. So in the cover I noticed there's a little box. We're going to open that up. And that is a micro SD adapter. 
a lens cloth. And your USB cable. Okay. Here's your Typhoon H manual. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, and here we have the battery charger. Desiccant. This bag contains power cord, so it comes in a little bag. This is just the power cord for the charger, I believe. Oh, and we have, yeah, so there's the power cord for the charger. And we have the lanyard for the ST16, which is over here, which is the controller. Here is the battery. Time for me to try. That's that's probably most of the weight right there, and that just kind of slots into the charger. Let's see. Let's see that way. Yeah, slots into the charger like that. I got a bit of a learning curve. I I didn't realize the batteries for these things are so temperamental. You have to. Um, you can't run them down too low or you risk damaging the battery and also if you're going to um, store them for any length of time uh, you've got to keep them at about a 55 percent charge uh, and so far the only way I know of doing that of knowing what your charge is at is you charge it and then when you connect the ST16 to the Typhoon H there's a battery meter on there and right now I believe the suggested method for for down charging the battery or using the battery up is just to run the propellers without taking off until you get to that storage range. So I don't want to, you don't want to overcharge your battery because that can lead to explosions and all kinds of stuff. So there's the power brick. It's a lithium, lithium, uh, li lipo, lithium something, a polymer or something. I don't know what it stands for. Uh, so here is a the spare propellers and I think all the propellers actually. So like I said, this is a hexcopter, it has six propellers. And you've got quite a few in here, two, four, six, eight, ten. So you've got four extras, probably two of each. There's um cool thing about the Typhoon H is uh, the propellers are quick release so you just pop them on, you don't have to screw them on. They pop on and they're color coded so that you can get them on the right motor. So we'll leave those in there. Here is the, this is a bag for the Wizard. The Wizard is a little remote that you can use to remotely pilot the uh, the uh, Typhoon H, or you can use it. You can carry it on you and then have the Typhoon H follow you. And um, Laura actually threw this one in because she didn't have any more of the units that had included Typhoon H's or Wizards, and so Laura actually threw that in to me for me because uh, it was hers and she doesn't use it for her H, so. I thought that was pretty cool customer service on her part. So I highly recommend Laura over at CopterSource.com. Okay. So I'm gonna we got some, some desiccants in there. I'm gonna leave those in there. Over here we have the car car charger. So if you want to charge your battery in the car. Uh uh. And then I think we're looking at over here we have the lens shade for the ST16. We'll put that on in a bit. Okay. So that looks like all that. Here is the ST16 controller. That's got a 7-inch 
Android tablet uh, on the screen for the screen there, so you can actually uh, use this as just an Android tablet. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Very nice controller. Uh, very seems to be very solidly built. There has been some issues with one of these fans back here rattling around. Um, so people have opened up the case themselves and uh, put the fan back on. So we'll see if once once I get this all figured out um, where we're at. So that brings us down to the unit itself. There's nothing else in there. So there is the Typhoon H. So you bring these up until they click. Just make sure they're solid. It's got a 4K camera on it right here. Uh, the footage I've seen so far from these things uh, on YouTube is incredibly stable for a for a, a drone. Um, yeah, you wouldn't even know. And the cool thing about the Typhoon H is that gimbal is 360 degrees. So once you take off, you can lift up your landing gear and the camera has an unimpeded 360 degree view and will we'll pivot around. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm not going to put the propellers on yet because I want to go through the manual. But um, everything looks good. Everything does, nothing looks damaged or anything like that. So um, that's a quick unboxing of the Typhoon H and I will get back to you with some first flight videos. I have um, I have very little drone experience so maybe I'm crazy for going out and buying a drone this expensive but I think with all the advanced features this has um, it's gonna be a lot easier to fly and people online are saying um, it's a very easy drone to fly. A drone Girl, check out her YouTube channel. I'll link to it below. Uh, she's got a lot of experience flying DJI's and Uniques and various other drones and she is she's, she's, she's had her Typhoon H for a couple weeks and she's in Ireland and she has some absolutely beautiful footage um, and she says it's it's her favorite drone yet so that's a uh, big praise as far as I'm concerned uh, so I have flown little drones I've flown a, a Proto X which I never got really far with it just crashed it all the time and then then I uh, got a Hubson uh, 170C, I want to think it is, or 107C. And on the first flight of that one, um, a motor went on me. So I don't know um, if that was my fault or if that was... Uh, uh, I didn't have any major crashes with that one. That, was, the, that one was actually a little bit easier to fly um, than the Proto-X. But uh, I gave the Proto-X to a friend of mine son let him mess around with that and I have ordered replacement parts for the, uh, the Hubson so I'm gonna have to solder a new motor in and see if I can pull that off uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll videotape that and do a do a, a video on that so anyway thanks for watching uh, look, uh, please like share subscribe and uh, I'll get more uh, Typhoon H videos out to you soon